the Steve Ponte Auto Group in Herkimer and Yorkville, and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Lisa Crawford of Clinton, and welcome back to the area. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we are traveling all over, including a visit with the Floyd Horseshoe Club, so stay tuned. There's a place on down the road, just over the hill past the Maple Grove, down by the road just a little ways, that's where we all used to play. Lost of the rods, water that's freezing, warm summer breeze, it sure is pleasing, sun shining through the white birch trees, we're just doing as we please. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Add the magic of dancing water to your garden with beautiful fountains, bird baths, and water features from the Mum Farm Garden Center. Come tour the century-old barn filled with heirloom quality garden accents of teak and cast stone. Shop the family-owned Mum Farm Garden Center on Red Hill Road in New Hartford. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. It's the sale you've been waiting for, the 28th annual store-wide super sale at Adirondack Furniture. Save 30 to 70% store-wide, including Amish rockers and gliders, solid oak furniture, and custom bedrooms and dining rooms. Twin log beds starting at $3.99 and 25% off in-stock lane furniture. Ask about 0% financing and free delivery. Buy American Made and save during the super sale at Adirondack Furniture, Riverside Center in North Utica, and online at adirondackhomefurniture.com. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market. Known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. The Fenimore Art Museum is open for the season with six new exhibits, including the Adirondack World of Arthur Fitzwilliam Tate. His iconic paintings helped create and perpetuate the vision of the Adirondack wilderness as a sportsman's paradise. See many examples of his original works that were subsequently mass-produced. This special exhibit has been organized by the Adirondack Museum and is on display at the Fenimore Art Museum in Cooperstown. Your news, talk, and sports authority. Talk Radio, AM 1450, WKAL, Rome, Utica. The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. We meet this week's artist at his workshop in the woods on the edge of the Adirondack Park east of Dulgeville. After attending the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, Tristan Cullman's creativity and talent took him far, working for major entertainment companies in Florida, Italy, and Japan. He worked on films, sculpture, animatronics, and major amusement rides. But a traumatic and debilitating injury 12 years ago changed his life forever. The artistic process that was his career has become his therapy. I had a brain aneurysm and it pretty much reduced my life to just slow, easy days. Uh, I still have to just take it slow and easy. I can't, I can't do anything big. I have had to find something that keeps me calm and since I can't do the sculpting or the painting anymore, I've had to find something that is easy for both, both my mental and physical end of it and the woodworking has just opened up the doors for me. 
Um, I've done everything from building lamps to building ch Japanese, traditional Japanese chess, and that just really worked for me. I spent the time in Japan, and when, while I was there, I had an opportunity to be uh, exposed to many different traditional skills that were used within the project. And when doing that, it introduced the traditional tansu building to me, and it really opened the doors for me. I don't think I am creating the art, the art is creating me. I find the comfort in it, and when I look at the wood, it is telling me what to make out of it. I'm not making what I want out of it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So that's, that's where I'm going. I'm, I'm letting it teach me as I go. And that's what it is. Tristan's work is the result of a painstakingly slow and intricate process using traditional Japanese tools. Many pieces take months to a year to complete. The few pieces that he had for sale at the Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts have sold, and the current pieces he is working on are for his daughters. On many summer evenings, you'll hear the familiar clink of horseshoes at the Floyd Town Park. The Floyd Horseshoe Club holds its weekly leagues here, a tradition that dates back to 1979. And there's still some tough but friendly competition. Well, uh, the Floyd Horseshoe Club got its uh, start in Rome, New York, at the Drummer Boy. And that place closed up, and so they decided to uh, build a facility out here. And it became the Floyd Horseshoe Club. There's co-founders of, uh, of the club, uh, Mac McFan and Bill Johnston. They were, they were the, the, the brains and the muscle behind the whole thing. And they started it about 1976 with the cooperation of the town park. Uh, the town park uh, laid out the courts. They provided the, the labor. Well, horseshoes actually uh, originated uh, with the Greeks and the Romans. And they used to take the shoes off the horses and threw it at a real, real uh, narrow stake. Real, it was only about a couple inches off the ground. And over the years, it evolved into what it is today. Uh, today, these are uh, uh, weighted shoes. They're professionally made and uh, you know, they're balanced and there's like, there's gotta be a 30 or 40 different varieties. Uh, well, I actually started here in 1989 and uh, we do have some club members that have been here since, since the start in 1976. And we have uh, members that have been, you know, eight, 10 years, two years. I, I think it's more just uh, people enjoy coming out. You know, we're all good friends. Everybody enjoys coming out for the night and just relaxing and, you know, just getting away from things. And, you know, it's like the horseshoe is, is a medium, uh, really. For, for most people. An excuse to get up, you have to get out. <laughs> because it's really fun, it gets you outside, um, and it's just nice to be with other people and be able to challenge yourself. The Floyd Horseshoe Club is forming summer leagues. It is open to men and women of all ages. Call Jim Moore for information at 271-9357 or visit our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com. As you can see, we're being overrun with asparagus. That's what happens when you have high heat, lots of moisture. It's the first draw of the year. We pick asparagus every day because it grows about six to eight inches every day. And you can see it's the best time to enjoy it. When it's good and fresh, it snaps and really tender. You can eat it raw or cooked or any way you like it. And don't forget to put away some for later in the winter when it's really tasty. You know, if you've ever gone to the garden and not had quite enough asparagus for dinner, well, the trick is water it. Water it, come back two hours later, you're gonna find that it almost doubles in size on a warm day. But one of the other tips is to, you can either snap it off, you can either cut it right at ground level. You never wanna cut the asparagus in the field too high up because that leaves a place for disease to set in and you're gonna get some fungus growing. So always cut it close to the ground or snap it below ground. When planning your family's future, turn to the principles of the past. Turn to Turnbull. Turnbull Insurance Service is an independent agency representing the most dependable companies for all your insurance needs as well as complete financial planning and wealth management. Call today for a free assessment.
Whether you're looking to sell or buy your first home, retirement property, farm, or lake house, call River Hills Properties. Agents look forward to meeting with you to present a personalized plan. River Hills Properties, bringing you home. Call 896 1009. Your garden is only as good as its plants. The premier growers and Cornell School of Agriculture graduates at the Mum Farm grow 99% of what they sell. So for your perennials, container gardens, vegetable transplants and herbs, trees and shrubs, shop the exceptional plants at the family-owned Mum Farm Garden Center on Red Hill Road in New Hartford. The Fenimore Art Museum is open for the season with six new exhibits, including A Moment Past, L.F. Tantillo Paints New York History. Tantillo's work brings the past to life through his remarkable historically accurate paintings. His paintings celebrate maritime themes, focusing on little-known subject matter depicting the early history of New York State. His work is widely collected and appears in exhibits all over the world, including Cooper Sound at the Fenimore Art Museum, open Tuesday through Sunday, 10 to 4. Now you can take out hot specials for lunch and dinner at Maria's Pasta Shop and on Sundays, fried dough, fried meatballs, and fresh baked rolls. Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street, Utica. Visit Brenda's Natural Foods in their brand new, bigger location, right down the street at 236 West Dominic Street in Rome. Brenda's Natural Foods, something good and a lot of it. The Village Crossing is celebrating its fifth anniversary and you're invited. Come celebrate this Thursday, Friday and Saturday with sales, giveaways, a raffle and smiles of thanks for making five years possible. The Village Crossing's fifth anniversary event is this Thursday, Friday and Saturday in Clinton. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. North Star Orchards is open for the season. The greenhouse is full of potted plants, annuals, and vegetables. And outside you'll find perennials, trees, shrubs, and topsoil. The bakery is open too with fresh pies, cookies, breads, and muffins at North Star Orchards, Route 233, Westmoreland. This week we're in Utica checking out a new place we heard about on Bleecker Street, Sammy and Annie Foods Store and Cafe. The owner, Chris Geruzzi, tells us how his family was originally from East Utica and how he is glad to bring handmade pasta back to his roots. Okay, the main idea for the, for the store started with a place for our customers to pick up our, their orders for our Christmas cookies and our Christmas specialties. Um, this year is one of the places we never had a you know, had a storefront at all or a, a physical place for them to come pick up um, their orders. So I thought about it, was thinking of just a temporary location, just seasonal. Yeah, but then I was more I was thinking about it, um, I was had a couple ideas with just our stuff, and then we didn't have enough of our product to fill the entire store. So I tried to get, put some feelers out there with some of the friends in um, of the local producers, and local farmers that we met through the farmers markets see if they'd be interested in putting their product down there and I got a really good response so we just kind of went from there and just got a collection of all the the other local farmers and all the products and it just grew from there we have we'll start with um, our products that we have we have our uh, jarred sauces and starters we have everything from pickled green tomatoes to our fast sauce which is a great all-purpose tomato sauce we have other pasta starters a bolognese sauce which is a northern Italian pasta sauce and a riggy starter sauce Yes, and we also make pasta, our own pasta, which is which now we feature on our lunch menu. It feels great to be back because um, since my grandparents have passed away, now I'm getting getting to meet some people and sit and talk to some people who are you know, who would have been their age, who are their age, but they were still living, and who know them. So get to hear some stories, either about them or just about East Utica in general, and just about you know just family and just and it's just great to reconnect with people. My my mother and father both you knew and, and know and then just for me to get to know them in, in the area as well. Behind me Annette is making orchetti which is Italian for little hats. Little, no, little ears. little ears, I'm sorry, little ears. We mistake them for hats. We Americans, yes, Aww. yes we do. Sammy and Annie Foods Store and Cafe is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, selling their jarred tomatoes and sauces, as well as local farmers' meats, cheeses, and eggs. Serving lunch weekdays from 11.30 to 1.30 at 717 Bleecker Street in East Utica. I 
We head north on Genesee Street to Franklin Square, where there's a new, old guitar shop. Here you'll find musicians hanging out and improvising, surrounded by guitars. We ask manager Bob Aquaviva what makes this guitar shop different. Well, in a regular guitar shop, you're not going to find guitars like this. We have a huge collection of like Gibson guitars, Fender guitars. Most places have the like less expensive lines. We have the like more expensive lines, but at realistic prices because they're all used. We have a lot of stuff going on, which is really based for the musician. I mean, we're going to be doing a meet and greet here on February 2nd for original bands. To, we're trying to get a scene going back again in the town. And there's kids here that have a lot of aspirations that really want to do things. People don't realize in the Mohawk Valley there's a lot of tent talented people. Joe Bonamassa came from here, Fran Cosmo, Paul Angerosa. There's a lot. It's endless the amount of people at Mo. All those guys have come from this area. And I mean, it all starts when you're young. And you know, you have to have the the ability and the, the want to really go out and do it. I manage a band called Wicked Young Guys from 19 to 24 years old and they're doing big things all over the country. There's no reason why you can't do it if you really want to do it. Speaking about what's new in the local music scene, we head to the other end of Genesee Street to the new studios of 92.7 The Drive. And uh, actually a lot of people bouncing around the studio. Richard and Sherry from Mohawk Valley Living, the TV show and the magazine, and Lance are here. Hi. Hi. Hello. There you go. Enjoying the, the new stuff. The new this is so cool. Yes. Cool yes, it is. we got a great view up here. Anyways, we talked about the magazine a few minutes ago. You can get that at Stewart Shops and other locations. we got a full list at 927thedrive.net. And then, of course, the television show, Sunday mornings at 7.30 on WFXV and 11 o'clock at night, and then 11.30 on WUTR. So check it out. i got good stuff on the other side of this break. Stick around. It is Mellencamp, and we're going to go back for a little mahogany rush. So hang out. During a break, Joe tells us about a new weekly radio show featuring local bands. What Live and Local is, is uh, Thursday nights at 9.30, we spotlight an original local musician, somebody who writes their own stuff, whether it's a solo guy or a band, or even some of the great bands from the past, like uh, the Frogs and 805 and Mr. Ed. But we're trying to uh, help foster an original local music scene. And there's a lot of bands. I mean, there's the band Wicked, there's the Rick Short Band, uh, there's some great jazz bands. There's Nelson Rudiak and Terry Johnson. There's a big community of um, original people that are putting out their own records, that are writing their own songs. And you know, that's one of the things that we think is very important is to fester a local music and original scene. There's great cover bands here. There's bands that have just been drawn for years and do great. But now we're trying to help with the original music scene. I think it means a lot to bands. I mean, I was in Slug for years, and I know when our song got played, it was, you know, it was a big deal. But it's nice to get your, uh, get your music out there. And then when I introduce the song, I give websites, and I tell them where people can find them. And, uh, you know, it's a big deal to have your music played on the radio, though. It really is. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. See the difference small family-run greenhouses can make. From hanging baskets to vegetables, Zarek Greenhouses offers herbicide and pesticide-free plants, and they only sell what they grow. Zarek Greenhouses, East South Street in Clinton, and online at zarekgreenhouses.com. Hi, welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. We have two full floors with 50 vendors of interesting and unique products ranging from specialized to very eclectic, primitive to the not so primitive. Remember, shop local, we're worth the trip. View presents the 63rd Annual Central Adirondack Art Show. This annual favorite features over 200 artists from the region through June 22nd at View, Route 28 in Old Forge. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Hi, Dr. Tom. 
Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. When you shop Meelan's Market, you'll be the grill master. That's because every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Meelan himself. Find everything for your next cookout from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. That special art, photograph, or memorabilia deserves a special frame. Oscars creates one-of-a-kind gold and silver leaf mirrors and frames. Oscars Picture Framing, 12 Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Today, with a north country socked in with snow, wind, and bitter cold temperatures, we head into the valley with less snow, but no less cold. In Frankfurt, we head to Industrial Drive and CTM Corporation. We are given a tour by sales engineer John Pisek, who tells us about the parts they built that are on Mars, including the scoop on the Phoenix lander, and more recently, parts on the Mars rover Curiosity. Let's see what we can see. CTM is a company that's been in uh, Frankfurt since the early 60s. Uh, it started when Mr. Nagel came over from Germany, worked for a couple small companies in the area, then decided to start one on his own. Well, back then it was mostly manual machining that went on, conventional milling and, and lathe work. Now, today, with our new 3D printer, new laser engraver, uh, CNC equipment, we can make uh, parts that are virtually out of this world. We've been fortunate enough to do for a lot of projects for space. Uh, we uh, built the scoop that's on Mars that was placed from the Phoenix Project. Recently with Curiosity, we did a lot of the parts for the SAMS, the science lab that's on there. We also worked with Oak Ridge National Laboratory on the next generation moon vehicle. We're very large in firearms. Uh, we have our FFL, our New York State gunsmithing permit, not only to work with the local large manufacturer, Remington Arms, but many gun manufacturers throughout the Northeast and throughout the country. Uh, we, we've been involved in uh, medical as well as optics. Uh, do a lot of uh, onesie twosie parts, people that want to see their part before they actually put it into production. We're mostly involved in the prototype world as well. 3D printing was the next step for us. It allows us to do a lot of uh, the parts that you saw today. Even though you couldn't see some of the parts we made because they aren't even to market yet, but that's what they come to us for, to prove out their theories, prove out what could be happening in their product line, and make them go to the next step. Well, the investment we made of about $200,000 was well worth it the way we look at it. The machine has been nonstop since we got it in, and it continues to grow that way. As they bring new plastics on board that we can produce through there too, we see more markets opening up. Right now we have about 25 employees, about uh, 15,000 square feet, always looking for qualified employees. So anybody out there that's interested, we have a help wanted sign in the front yard you saw when you pulled in. Always looking to bring in new talent. Not only do they have parts that landed on Mars, but they have made for me a custom wrench, Mohawk Valley Living, and uh, a cover for my cell phone. Amazing. 3D printing. Wow. To learn more about CTM Corporation's current projects, their 3D printing capabilities, or job opportunities, visit their website, ctm-corp.com. We continue east on Route 5S and over the Mohawk River to the village of Herkimer. We stop on North Main Street for lunch at Brian's Roast Beef. Brian Carney opened his restaurant in the late 1970s when disco was in fashion, located in the former Woolworths building. Generations of customers have memories of Brian's restaurant, now run with the help of his children and grandchildren. They're known for their pasta dishes and chicken wings, as well as their homemade pizza dough and bread. It all started 35 years ago. Well, I got bored working in a factory and I, I ran a business in uh, Frankfurt, uh, you know, Riverside Dairy. I worked there for years as a kid, a little kid. And my mother was Sicilian, you know, she was a good cook, so I decided to go in the pizza business, you know. Deli pizza business, roast beef. 
We still do okay, you know. Yeah. Been here 36 years, so. Doing something, Doing something right, right? <laughs> you tried our food, so you know it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm currently going to college at Herkimer, but I mean, maybe eventually, because he is retiring, but he'll never retire. You know, he'll work, right, right. He'll work here, you know, till, I don't know, probably 80s, 90s, you know, because that's the same thing his mother did. His mother worked until she was 90, so I think he's down the same path. Brian's Roast Beef is open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, and Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11, at 122 North Main Street in Herkimer. It's the feeling I get when I look around, it lets me know I'm home. I'm making this very my own. I'm so proud to call it my home. Oh, it's not what you We head to downtown Utica to the studio of artist Victor Lanuza. This prolific painter has traveled extensively, but his hometown of Utica drew him back to his studio overlooking the city. Here he creates landscapes, cityscapes, and portraits, studying the movements of dancers, musicians, models, and actors, exploring external and internal darkness and light. I've been working on um, kind of a small series of Elizabeth Taylor, um, but I've been trying to do a play on collage and more about movement and slowly breaking away the figure, not so representational, but just kind of breaking it down into shapes and, and movement. and. Mm -hmm different colors so I think beauty is more of a reaction whether it's ugly but I'd like to get a response out of people whether it be the nervous system whether they like it they don't like it um, it's not up to me and you know it's a pleasure to sell things it's great um, you know you want a lot of people to see it but a lot of times it's just the work it's being here alone and you know making it work keeping yourself inspired and keep working through it overcoming fear basically. <laughs> a lot of times it's being fearful of creating something good, bad. If something really goes my way, I tend to scratch it and then find myself struggling and, until it happens. It's like 1% uh, like uh, inspiration, 99% perspiration, and sometimes it's like uh, just saving it, <laughs> saving the art, you know, from a bad drawing or whatever. You're continually trying to make it, I don't know, it doesn't always make you happy, but you become, you have moments of content, so. My family's here, I'm from here, I, I've done a lot of traveling through my life, and uh, I always find myself coming back. Um, I don't know, the ghosts or relatives or childhood memories, however, I'm comfortable being here and I could do what I love, and you know, I lived in New York and I was paying six times this amount for a space this big and, you know. I mean, it's great, I love the place, but it's kind of do distracting. I can, um, I can focus more here. What it is,